Yo, Steel Mills, what's the deal, man? Nigga off work, finally, I'm going home. I'm finna go crash the homie in 2K. He running off at the mouth like he like that. I gotta let this nigga know I'm that guy, man. So, yeah, man. But peep game, man. We gotta get right into this shit because I'm about halfway home right now. And I wanna really rap about this because it's breaking my soul, man. Listen, bro. Um, If Canelo fights Edgar Berlanga and Jam or Jamal Charlo, I'm on his ass. Y'all might fuck around and make me. I might go back to my uh, 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 um, pre Golovkin Canelo rhetoric, man. This shit is unacceptable, man. I don't know why the fuck Edgar Belanga's name keeps getting tossed around in the mix. I just, this dude is back. He's one fight back from a year long suspension for getting so flustered in a fight that he bit fucking Angulo. Multiple controversial losses, and I'm not mad at controversial losses. Because that at least means you're fighting fighters on par with you as far as talent is concerned. But the thing is, for the hype that this nigga was getting, there's no reason why someone like a Steve Rose should have been on par with you. There's no reason why you touch an earth with someone like a Cose uh, Marcelo Coceres when Diego Pacheco went in there and detonated him. There's no reason for that. There's no reason for that, bro. This dude is talking about he was having nightmares about fighting. Uh, fuck, I can't remember the dude's name that he fought in the last matchup. And he was getting touched, religiously touched. You are not deserving of a Canelo Alvarez fight. I don't give a fuck about that mandatory, dog. I will not. So I'm yo. Hey, listen. If Can Canelo, if you fight either of these two, I'm robbing you for that fight, and I mean that. I'm not paying for that shit. You're not about to rob me, cause I know for a fact y'all gonna put this shit behind the paywall, expecting everybody to come out and break the bank to see you fight. I'm not paying for that shit. Y'all got me fucked up. These faces of boxing get to a point where they just get, you know, contempt with fighting whoever the fuck it is they want to fight. And normally I wouldn't trip on that. Normally I wouldn't trip on that. But you have to eventually start listening to the public. And when the, the public's belly aching needs to be heard, because that's the one who's going to purchase the fight to ensure, uh, to ensure you get the money that you're asking for. I'm not paying for that fight. I will not pay for Charlo and I will not pay for Belanga. And I mean that shit. And I'm going to have a big ass fight party too. That shit is getting streamed in. I, I swear to God, fight one of them niggas if you want to. Fight one of them. I dare you, bro. Jamal Charlo has not fought but once in three fucking years. In his last fight, he didn't defend the strap that he had that he was currently, you know, previously holding. And on top of that, he got he went the distance with a fucking welterweight. What are we talking about here? Why are you so... I get you want to fight this dude just to shut everybody up because that was the narrative for X amount of years that it was Charlo you was running from, you was running from Andre. Ah, yeah, whatever the fuck ever. It would have been understandable last year when you fought your male. But now that that shit done sell, that's more time that man has spent outside of the ring. That's more time that man has spent outside of the ring. And he's not disciplined because he just got stripped for his title for getting a fucking DUI. There's no reason to fight no Jamal Charlo. You are past that. Way past that. Way past that. There's no... At this point, you can't even justify it. I was trying to find a reason to justify it last year. Because I it made sense. It, it, it made sense as far as justifying the fight. Even though it was always a trash fight. It would have been a good fight some years ago. But in the now, that shit was garbage, bro, because the dude is just too inactive. And I never thought he had what it took to deal with you anyway. It had just been, all right, cool, a, a, a slightly more notable name on the on the resume. You dig? But this dude within the past three years has shown so many levels of discipline and uh, undisciplined and deviancy. Why does he get a shot at a handsome payday and undisputed? Before Christian Mobili, before David Benavidez. Fuck, Diego Pacheco is more deserving of fucking uh, 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 Canelo Alvarez than Jamal Charlo. Beck the Bully. These are fighters that you could fight more, that would be just, you know, uh, 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 more understandable than fighting Jamal Charlo, dog. There's no reason for you to go and fight Jamal Charlo. No reason whatsoever. No reason whatsoever. Edgar Berlanga having fucking good, you know, a controversial wins with a uh, over Steve Rolls. The way you get hyped, you how was Steve Rolls even in the conversation with you? The way that they was amping you, the way that they was amping you. We saw what Golovkin did to this man. The way that they was amping you, you were supposed to go in there and make quick work of that dude, or at least gave 
at least make him look like you did, uh, 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 like you did, uh, 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 Desmond Nicholson. This dude had a competitive bout with you, bro. It's been hell and high water that dude has been going through since that fight. No, since the Coceres fight. This, you, man, like, come on, man. Like, this shit is it's unacceptable, man. There's no justification for you to fight any of these two. If you're not going to fight Benavidez, it damn well better be a uh, 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 Mobili. That is the only acceptable fight. Is that the police on me? Not ask the police. That's the only acceptable fight. If not, David Benavidez. You will look bad, and I'm telling you, I will not pay for that. I will not purchase that fight. You will be robbed. You will be robbed. And you think your numbers is dipping now. Like, I don't see how you not... Jaime Munguia, who has a bigger following than... You know, maybe not a bigger following, but, you know, a more insulated following than David Benavidez. Jaime Munguia has been... You know, he's had a little bit more of a buzz over the past, you know, a few more years longer than David Benavidez. And for you to only do half a million with him when you did 800000 with Caleb Plant, that is telling you that's telling right there we're not gonna keep accepting just any fights man give us the fights that we asking for and this is the frustrating part when it comes to canelo man everybody else speaks for him we all you know all we have left to run on is 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 conjecture and what about isms and possibilities and shit like that he paid william stole step aside money and that's all we you know that's that, that's the bit of the if that's the most of the information we got right now now everybody is running on theories or whatever. It could be Edgar Berlanga. It could be Jamal Charlo. Like, man, this shit got to stop, man. Like, you have been, and it's getting towards, we two months out from September. Your target fight day, man. So it's about that time for you to start promoting any fucking way. Them two motherfuckers is not going to cut it, bro. Them two, like, I wouldn't be surprised if they booed you. You'll do the live gate. The live gate will be busting. But you won't fuck around and do what Tank just did. That's when you're going to start to feel like, oh, you're going to feel the pressure. Because when that, when your numbers dip that low, that means you are losing the support of the, of the, of the, of the consumer, bro. Edgar Berlanga is unacceptable. Jamal Charlo is unacceptable. Nobody is trying to watch you fight them dudes, bro. They're not deserving of it. They're not talented enough to be in the same ring as you. There's better fighters at 168 pounds than Edgar Berlanga with losses. With losses. Why this man keeps finding his way into the conversation is beyond me. It's blowing me. This is why David needs to activate his mandatory. He does not need to wait no two fucking weeks. He needs to activate that Mando clause right now. At least by then we'll have a better, uh, a more clear and concise picture of what Canelo was going to do. Now we can hold him accountable. Finally, we can hold him accountable. If the David Benavidez fight doesn't go down. But this shit is unacceptable, bro. And I, I will not support it. I'm telling you right now, I will not support that fight. I will not support Canelo Alvarez versus Edgar Berlanga. I, oh, it, bro, it, I'm not one for calling fighters bums, dude. I'm not. And I don't think Berlanga's a bum. I don't think he's a bum. But he ain't shit as far as being a top kid. No, I don't think he beats... Uh, he, do, he, he doesn't beat Pacheco. He doesn't beat Beck the Bully. He does not beat David. He does not beat Caleb Plant. He does not beat Jaime Munguia. He does not beat Zach Parker. He does not beat John Ryder. He does not beat Mobili. The majority of those fighters that I named in that dude in the mid to late rounds, he gets hit way too much. I wouldn't be surprised if Caleb Plant went in there and stopped that dude. Mobili, you know, he means destruction in front of Mobili. He means destruction in front of David Benavidez. He means destruction in front of fucking Diego Pacheco. That dude is a... Um, I would say Darrell's level or something like that. And I like Darrell, but I, I think Darrell is too much for him. Darrell is not touted as this dude who just, nah, bro. He's like not, he's never been touted as no world beater. Edgar Berlanga was, oh man, he, you know, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, even he walks around with this sense of arrogance like he's made it. 
you know, my fan base is going to be crazy. You know what I'm saying? I got a big fan base. I'm a superstar. Oh, in what realm are you a superstar? That, he ain't never sold out no Madison Square Garden. What are we talking about? That's your own backyard. This dude has a sense of arrogance to him that's not warranted, man. And he keeps getting in position to where his name could even be entertained with fighting someone like Canelo. That fight does not need to happen, bro. Everybody needs to boycott that fight. Everybody needs to go to a streaming site and stream that fight. That pay-per-view need to do like 500, like 50K. Because there's no excuse to fight that dude. There is no excuse to fight that dude. You don't fight no fucking Edgar Berlanga. I'm madder at that than I am with Jamal Charlo. At least Charlo's a two-division champ. At least he's a two-division champ. Edgar Berlanga, bro. No, you go fight Atlantis Fox or somebody like that. You 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 go fight goddamn. Uh, I don't know, bro. Bring Gabe Rosado back out of retirement. You can go and fight him, and that fight might be a little too much for you. What happened to you and Danny Jacobs? Man, like, nah, bro. That, this, man, yo. I'm telling you right now, if Canelo fights Berlanga or Charlo, I'm boycotting that fight. No, I, no I'm not boycotting it. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to just find me a stream site to watch it on. I'll pay that stream site. I, that money will go right in the pockets of the streamers. Whoever's streaming it, hey, yo, hold that. I got you, my dude. Good looking out. That's where that money's gonna go. Hey, hope good looking out, man. You know, drop that bag off on them. It won't be as pricey. You gotta be fucked up. You got on Edgar Berlanga. On top of an already disowned subscriber, you're gonna hit me with another seventy dollars, sixty dollars to watch the fight. You brazy, nigga. Uh, Edgar Berlanga. Uh, no. No. It will not happen. I swear to everything, it will not happen. Jamal Charlo, it no, it will not happen. How does a how does a degenerate keep getting his name pulled out of the hat for the sweepstakes? How does that happen? How does Edgar Berlanga, a dude with limited skill, how does his name keep getting pulled out the hat? No, bro, no. This is where you come out and you let it be known. No, I'm, no, that ain't it. I'm not fighting him. I'm not fighting him. We need Benavidez, bro. And the only, re the only, the only grace you get for not fighting Benavidez is if you fight Christian Mobili. And even then, we motherfuckers are still gonna look at you like, why just won't you go and beat up this dude, David Benavidez? They're still gonna have something to say about you. But a nigga like me, I'm telling you right now, bro. You fight Edgar Belenga or Jamal Charlo if you want to. And why, watch how I respond. Hey, who's streaming the fight? Right on Facebook. Hey, who's streaming the fight? That I, I swear on my babies, I'm going to do that. I'm not paying for that. I wouldn't allow the homies to say, hey, yo, man, I'll pay for this fight. For nope, you won't. You won't. I'm going to block your blessings to the best of my abilities. And we going to get food, bro. We, or we, 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 I don't know if we're going to order, we're going to cook, we're going to do something. We're going to watch the fight. It just won't be paid for. It'll be as if we watching the shit on YouTube. I swear to everything, man. Fight Edgar Berlanga if you want to. Fight Jamal Charlo if you want to. I don't know if this is some sort of game you and David Benavidez is running behind the scenes. I said it in my last video where David Benavidez don't know if he want to stay at 75 or come back down to 68. Maybe Canelo was entertaining jumping up to 75. Maybe he's doing that. And maybe that, you know, just... I don't know how you can add more intrigue to the fight because it's not going to get that... It's not going to... It's not going to get more anticipated than what it is now. So maybe he's doing that. Maybe he's putting the bait out there. Maybe. I don't know. What I do know is, indeed, that's a, unless you're doing that, there's no excuse for you to, you, no, bro. No. No. Fuck no. So I said it once, and I'm going to say it again. Fight Edgar Berlanga or Jamal Charlo in September if you want to. My nigga, I will. I'm, I'm, that shit will be free on my on my Xbox. It, it will be free. It will be free because I will not purchase that. And I'm gonna need anybody with a channel, the two and fuse that follow me, to get you know keep the energy that I'm putting out there right now, man. I'm going in the house to smack on niggas in 2K, yo, doses.